All right, um, this video is going to be done in English as I'm going to be posting it to the Krav Maga uh, channel on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is this whole um, video is going to be in English. So this is an exercise that I've developed. It's a full body exercise, body weight only. Uh, that you can do in the comfort of your own home without any uh, weights or any equipment or anything. It's just you yourself and your own body. So I've worked it out to address the muscle groups separately. So the exercise is put out in a sequence. Please follow the sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a slow jog just to get the muscles warmed up, get the heart beating, get the heart rate up. So for 60 seconds, as you're just going to do nice and slow jog. All right, just a slow jog for 60 seconds. You don't need to rush it, just a slow jog just to get the blood flowing. All right, then from there we're going to go into our chest exercises, which we're going to start off, start off with, with a push-up. So the push-up, what you're going to do, is you're going to have your hands, uh, shoulder width, hands in line with the nose, body straight, and then you're going to go down under control, touch your chest to the ground, and then slowly lift up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is from here, body nice and straight, and then you just wanna go down and up. And up. When you're in the downward space, don't rest on the ground. Maintain the time on the tension on the shoulders, on the chest. So don't go and lie down on the ground. Right. The next exercise that we're going to go to is the shoulder press. So you get your bum in the air and then you lower so that your forehead touches the ground. So from here, you're just going to go down and up. And up. Alright, so that's your, that's your shoulder press. Once again, when you're down on the ground, don't go and lie and rest on your head. Go down, maintain the pressure on the shoulder. It's a nice exercise for especially the deltoids. All right, so what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go over to a shoulder tap. Now what we're gonna do, it's gonna be in the high plank position. From the high plank, just gonna go and cross over and touch your shoulder. So it's high plank, body nice and straight. You can widen your legs a bit for, for balance and then just touch. Good, so from here, you just touch. Okay, this exercise uses your core to, to stabilize the body so that you don't fall over. Okay, so it's a nice exercise for the core and then as well for chest and shoulders. Right, then we're going to go over to our legs. Legs are going to just be doing the normal lunges. So I'm going to go down with the knee and do not touch the ground. So before touching the ground, we stop, maintain the time on the tension, and back. We go forward and back. And back. Good. You're going to use your quadriceps to push the body up. Okay, so you're going to use your, your upper legs to push the body back into a standing position. All right. Then the next exercise on the list will be your mountain climbers. Again, it's in a high plank position. So from the high plank, you're just going to bring the legs up and touch as far as possible between our arms. So from here, in the high plank, start up here and then we're just going to shuffle. Alright, it's so our normal mountain climbers which you all know at this stage. So, do you know mountain climbers? Uh, Gonna do 30 with each leg. Then the next one we're gonna do is a low squat. So what that entails, you have your legs nice shoulder width. Okay, then push the legs out like a frog. Toes the toes pointing front. Get your hands up for balance. And then we go down into a low squat and we bring it back. Okay. So you're going to do a low squat, push it back. All right. So this exercise is also nice and focused on the upper legs. And you can feel it when you're doing it correctly that uh, 
the legs start to tighten up. Then move over to Superman, quite flat on the stomach, arms extended, legs extended, toes pointed, and then we lift up the hands, we lift up the legs, and we maintain the Superman plank. Alright, Superman plank is designed to work on your lower back, okay? So we want to, during the exercise, you want to feel that stretch in your back. So then you're going to go over to star plank. Now star plank, you're going to have your legs nice and wide open, hands nice and wide open, stretch as far forward as possible, and maintain the plank. So the star plank, nice and wide, nice and wide, stretch up, and hold it. Alright, that's your star plank. You'll feel it burning, feel it in your arms, feel it in your legs, feel it in your, in your stomach, you feel it in your shoulders. Nice full body exercise. Right. Next one that we're going to look at is going to be our TikToks, right? Our standing TikToks. What I want you to do is get your legs nice and straight, then go down as far as possible. You feel the stretch in the hammies, and then from there you go back. Until you feel that, that stretch again in the lower back. Forward again. And then back again. Right, you want to feel that burn in the hamstrings. You want to feel that burn, burn in, the, in the lower back. Alright, then we're going to go into a reverse crunch. Now, usually when we do a crunch, we bring the upper body up to do the crunch. What you're now going to do, is going to use the lower, the lower body. To do the crunch. So from here, arms decide to get your 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 balance and your stabilization. And from there, I want you to bring the legs from down, up, and up, straight, and up. All right, you'll feel starting to burn more or less in the lower abs. You've got your six pack, or you know where six pack lies. You've got your two in the upper body, or in the upper part, the middle part, and the lower part. Now this this exercise targets that lower flabby. Okay, that one is that is that is very difficult to target. All right. So what you're going to do now? The next one is going to be a straight leg crunch. Okay, it's also called the leg lift. So from here, you get your legs off the ground, and then you keep it off the ground. You bring it up. You bring it down. Don't swing it, don't use momentum. Nice and slow. Bring it up. Take it back down. Nice and under control. Don't touch. Bring it up. Swing it down. Good. What I find works nice on this exercise is every time when you bring the legs down, you tighten the abs. Okay. You like push the stomach out and when you bring it up, you pull the navel in. Tracking out the end. Right, so you get that that nice pressure on the abs. Right, so then the last one we're going to do on abs is a crossover ab crunch. Nice lying on sand and beach, cross your legs. I could be sitting in front of the TV. Get your hands behind the head. Now, I've got my right leg crossed, so I'm going to use my left elbow to go towards my leg. And then finally, after you're done there, cross your left leg, get your hands up, and now your right elbow goes to your left. Alright, so that's the crossover oblique crunch. Next one we're going to do is we call it alternative arm and leg lift. So, in a high plank, you're going to do what you're going to do is you're going to lift up your one hand. And the opposite leg and then maintain that pose then you're going to change it up All right so that's the opposite of the dead bug so this is an alternative leg and arm lift then obviously no exercise is complete without our old friend the dive bomber just quickly demonstrate the dive bomber again bum up in the air gonna swing down 
and back up. Now what is very important, especially when you're doing your dive bombers, is don't hold in your breath while you're doing the exercise. That can lead to a spike in your heart rate or in your, in your blood pressure actually, which can cause you to pass out. So as you're going down into the swing, exhale, and as you're pushing up, inhale. Okay, that will force you to keep on breathing so that your blood pressure does not spike. Right, the next one we're going to do is a, a, a diamond hole plank lift. So you're going to be in the low plank, in the hands in the diamond pose. So from there, you're just going to straighten the arms and then bring it back. Straighten the arms and bring it back. Okay, this is an exercise for your triceps. You'll start feeling it in the tricep, especially in the long head of the tricep. So that works your, your arms, your triceps, as well as part of your form. The next one that we are going to do is an explosive burpee. So that is an explosive uh, push-up combined with a burpee. So you're going to start in the standing position, drop down, one explosive push-up, up into a burpee, and then back down again. So it will look as follows. Your explosive push up. This is an aerobic exercise, so it gets the heart really pumping, gets the blood flowing, gets the sweat going. Okay. Then we're going to do a squat top jump, where you're going to go into a low squat and then jump with our knees to our chest in a in a top jump fashion. So it's going to go down into your squat, up. All right, that's our squat jumps. Squat, squat, tuck jumps. Right. And then the last one that we're going to do before we go into a cool down is we're going to do the cross jump. The cross jump, what do we do? It's from the middle, forward, middle, side, middle, back, middle, side, middle. That's one. Okay, so it'll be one. So that's our cross jumps. And then finally we're going to go into three exercises just to cool down a bit. First one we're going to do is to help with our groundwork and bring the heart rate down as well. There's a bridge, lying nice and flat, feet on the ground, arms on the chest, and then from here you are just going to lift your bum and down. Nice and slow, low intensity. Alright, you can feel it burning in your glutes, in your bum. Alright, so that's it bridges. Do it nice and slow. As we're now in the cool down phase of the exercise. Then the second last exercise will be a hamstring stretch. Bum flat, quads flat, calves flat. Grab the side of your legs, keep the knees straight and then just bend down. As soon as you feel the tightening in the hamstrings, you can just hold it there, don't go past it. So from here, go down, hold it. You don't want to feel pain, you just want to feel that, that little pull. Okay, so as soon as you feel the pull, you just keep it there for 20 seconds. So you're going to go down, there's the pull now. And maintain that hold, right, for 20 seconds. And you're going to do three sets of 20 seconds each. And then the last one you're going to do is a rocking chair. Lie flat on the ground, grab the knees, and now we're just going to roll with the lower back. You don't need to sit up straight. You don't need to roll on your head. Just roll on the erector spinae. With those long muscles next to your spine. Just so that you get that, that mobility and flexibility exercise in it. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll, I'll put up a, a little poster on the reps and the sets that you need to do of each exercise. It's a nice exercise, it gets the blood flowing, it gets the sweat really flowing, it gets the heart rate up. Enjoy the exercise, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, 
it's a tough exercise, but it's also a fun exercise and something that you can do with your family while during lockdown. You don't need any uh, equipment or, or any funny things. All right, enjoy the video, guys, and then uh, keep safe.